you know, I definitely think though it's a double standard as far as a man's approach of being nice and cool. Because if he with a woman, if he's in a relationship, there's no such thing. You ain't supposed to have a woman friend. Ain't no y'all supposed to be nice. This what y'all doing right now, y'all see all this. This setting you won't see anywhere without somebody saying now. And watch her now, because seems like she rubbed her shoulder. <laughs> it, it, I'm telling you, it, 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 it's a it's like it on look, uh, right. one is, this, this, this is an isolated, very 10% of the relationship situation. Something like, I'm just saying, so why she, why she got to be the owner all the time? I'm mm -hmm. telling you right now, <laughs> if we try to put that. us off in another situation, right. you just seen two nights, why are you so close? You know, I mean, because women dissect stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But we heard, she's like, she seems really sweet. Right. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Now listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move on real quick, but I, I, want, I do feel like I want to make this point here. Women really do pay attention to what the woman look like. Now I said big booty, all mm -hmm. this. Now the reason why I said all that is not because that's what I see so much, but you that's see it also. Mm -hmm. The woman mm -hmm. see it also. So let's say look, I'm running to the right. head of that big booty. Now, now, now <laughs> let let that lady be in glasses. She got broke legs. She on stilts and one look like she on stilts or something. Mm -hmm. She walking funny or she in a wheelchair. And I walk over to her. She in a wheelchair, whatever. She's harmless. Listen, she exactly. <laughs> and but now she wearing the tights and she got the big booty in the head. She shaping all this. She can find her own way. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Let's go. And so again. Why yeah, you got to be the one to help her? Yeah, right. that's another person coming along. Yeah, She'll exactly. be all right. But that was because she looked a certain type of way. And I, 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 I'm going to venture to say that women do pay attention to that. And if we she do. looked a certain way, then you, oh, okay. Because uh, y'all want to know we upgraded men, or something. Men intentions are not. All right. <laughs> now, this is one last thing that I want to discuss. And I do feel like it's somewhat of a double standard. And it goes back to some of the, the things we talked about earlier about, you know, some... Or, or women being discontent, men, you know, being able to accept criticism, women not. I feel like women get emotionally upset for good reason, they feel like. But if a man is upset, normally it's perceived as him being sensitive or, you know, he, you know, he just, he just saw. And so, Pastor Dose, you, you made a point earlier when you were talking about how some women might see it as, oh, like, you know, he just being sensitive, he just kind of tripping about certain things. But the moment that a woman is upset with something, it's for good reason. I'm mad because you it should be and you know better and well you, you know me and that, like women ahead. are too emotional and men are not allowed to be. I'm, am I? Or are women? Yeah, I mean I mean what he's saying is true. I mean, men are not allowed to be emotional. Mm -hmm. In any way. You know, he gotta be gooned up about everything he say. <laughs> right. Then he can't be gooned up. I do her. think I do think it's a, a a a double standard as far as how he gets to how he gets approached. He I mean if a man gets too emotional, a woman's not attracted to him. Let's just be real. She right. doesn't want him. True. Um, but then if, he, if, he's, if he's talking too much about things he don't like, he complaining too much. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. so if I'm all this problem, why you just want to find somebody that can, it, it, right. it'll become. So what, what, are, what are you guys, what's your outlet? Just what's so not, that women what happens, understand. What happens, is, what happens is that most men don't. Most men, most men can love a woman with all their heart and they're just saying, man, I don't know how to tell you, like, you know, I, I could be. I don't even like that. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. it, it could be. It's so tough because, how, like right now, how does a man compliment a woman, and they ride? I Meaning, like, if he says you look good today, she might right. say thank you. Mm -hmm. She might say thank you, but then on the backside of it, she thinking, well, he ain't saying nothing about what happened yesterday. You see what I'm saying? It's tough. Y'all looking man. at women like we just over dissect everything, <laughs> and I no, don't like no, that. I mean, but, but, but my point is that it is. Think about how long it takes for a woman to get out of the house. Because she does over dissect everything. And even when she finally puts it on, you would think she's secure because she done went through all her little stuff, she put it on, and now all of a sudden, his response changes everything. Mm -hmm. So you, so what a man do? Do he say to that? It's best sometimes don't he say nothing. Just like, hey, cool, you ready? You get in the car? <laughs> Cause, cause you say something, you know. The whole thing yeah, so you got to wait for her to say something. My point is, though, it is, it is tough. Because it's that vulnerable part. It's a part of communication that's saying, nah, here's the real part. A man ain't allowed to say, you know, I want to compliment. Because now he's soft. Mm -hmm. like, right. He, like, he told him, like, 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 you want to Like, he want to know. You're metrosexual. Like, you know you look like, 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 well, I got I'm just saying, like, a man's not allowed to be that way. And what happens is, when he gets it, Woman's expected to do it. Compliment me. Tell me I'm good. But I, I know women that's in relationships. She still like comments for other dudes. She like it. I mm. think it's wrong, but she likes Why? it. Why? Yeah, I do. I do. How's that wrong? Because I think you ought to say that. 
Say that extra smile. They love, just say that to you wait till you get to the house. <laughs> Cause to a man, she smiles like boy. They be at me, boy. They they always at me, boy. Yeah. You know what I mean? It can be perception on both sides, but it's just different, I think, for a, for a man and a woman. So. But I, for for the ladies that are listening and um, tuning in, we want to know how could we make this interaction better? Because no one wants to be with a man who is just doesn't communicate I, and I, that's the issue i have with relationships now if i'm over if i feel like i'm over communicating and you're not communicating with me telling me what's going on how you feeling and i feel like i gotta pull it up out of you we it's gonna be a turn off eventually True. i'm not gonna be happy so how do we get to the meat and gravy and potatoes i'm hungry guys yeah. <laughs> how do we yeah. get to that without over exhausting ourselves i feel like listen for the most part, I, I touched on it earlier. A lot of women just some they just fail to take that criticism sometimes. And true, you made a great point, and I'm gonna give you that that sometimes we as men are unable to articulate it in a way to where it's it's a little it's soft. It's got a softer landing and mm -hmm. delivery. But at the same time, there are women that, like I said, it don't matter how you say it, it's already a problem because you said something. So now you, you want for us to, to find a way and you, you're looking for this solution of, well, what can we do? Well, for the most part, it's, it falls on women if a man is communicating. If you're not communicating, then that's one thing. But if he is communicating, for a woman, you have to be able to accept that sometimes you may be falling off in some areas. Like, you, got to, you just got to. Because to me, I just, like I say, I look at it simply. It's a simplistic view. If my woman is discontent with something I'm doing or not doing, mm -hmm. my relationship is in danger if I don't pick up on that, that she needs right. me to pick up on. So, if I turn the table, it should be looked at just the same way. If I'm discontent with something, I want you to look at it as important because if you have something that you are uh, upset about, I have to find that important and pick up on it. I think that men need to be more expressive without thinking about the consequences. Because women will just say what's on our mind. <laughs> this is what listen, listen what I'm saying. Ahead, women right. will say what's on our mind out of emotion. But men like this. Ain't Wait, no listen. consequence though. It ain't. Your it ain't. No, 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 no. I just want you to take a statement and help us understand this so we can be okay, together. Go ahead. Men got to be more open and just forget about the consequences. Now just notice when a woman speaks, she ain't worried about no consequences. He and that's what, and I feel like men should be the same way too. But, but that that shouldn't be a consequence if he expresses himself. Mm, that's what I'm trying to tell message. you. No, but but in in it, it shouldn't be. But there is always a consequence. Heck yeah, you right. Whatever so comes then, out of your so mouth. So why would he want to talk if there's a risk of a consequence? It's, it's you <laughs> for both. <laughs> no. I, I'm gonna say for and, both. And, and for then both. you know what what then you know. Yeah, but that, that's not. I'm gonna tell you right now. That's not gonna work. When a guy has to quit, it's like this. Well, I, I mean, there's a man right now somewhere, and she called and answers phone. He want to talk to me. He don't know if she's going to be tripping. Like, he, like that question mark on a man is going to keep him far away. He'll just be quiet. It's, it's the part of a man when he don't know who she going to be today, how she going to respond. Right. And then you saying, just talk. He saying, I mean, you remember last time I talked, what happened? True. You flipped out. Yeah, so you what, so what, is a woman, what, is, what is a woman to do? He, I mean, it's the security. See, what happens is that we think that the woman is the only one that needs security. So the double standard starts because now the man said, man, I want to talk to you, but I want to know, can I say this? Mm -hmm. True. And so the problem is we know he can say this because he said it to his homeboy, and he might have said it to her. But he want to know if he can say it to you because mm -hmm. that's what it's all about. It's all coming out of communication. But for a woman, when she talks, she will never think of consequence. Listen, I need to talk to you about something. Da, da, da. And so therefore, you know it. Oh, why are you getting mad? Why you, I mean, because... She just feels like, I got to get it out. Get it out. So mm -hmm. she don't think about consequence. The man thinks, man, if I say this, oh, this thing might go way left. True. And it's just, it's not, it's really a double standard because he's supposed to be the man. He's supposed to deal with it. Mm -hmm. Man up, like Shaq. You know said. what I mean? But at the same time, for a woman, we don't put that kind of re re um, response or pressure on her, the responsibility saying, come on, man, you with me? I tell every woman, I, in my marriage, I tell them, if he talking crazy, freaky, nasty, holy, he talking to you. Right. Deep, find a way to handle that without mm -hmm. a consequence. He don't, because he stopped thinking, Last time I said something, all right, okay, my bad, I'm sorry. Because it turns into then a... Then it closes back up. Right, right, right. But right. your statement just cleared up. You said, well, a man got to be able to express himself, you know, don't think about the consequences. That's crazy. But I mean, in like communicate. I feel that 
that way because if I am in a relationship with someone, if I am intimate with someone, you should be able to talk to me about anything just as well as I should be able to talk to you about anything. Mm -hmm. And when I talk to you about something, I don't want you to put me in a box. So I want you, I want to talk to you without having any expectations, you saying something back to me that may, right. I just want to get it all out. And I feel like men don't do that. I feel like men don't communicate. They just okay, what you going through today? And they take all your stuff, you know, all your emotions. You got to. I don't like that, though. Well, that's good that you don't like it. But the, the problem is, uh, what you can't do is give a man without you. But women, what they can't do usually is give a man a guarantee that you can talk about anything and I ain't going to trip. So I'm really, I really love you. Don't you talk about anything. It never happens like that. It doesn't happen like that, but because I would you're like saying, you. Because you're saying, again, you're saying, well, you trying to make it seem like women really emotional this. They are. Especially when you talk about them no and what they look like. What? And, mm -hmm. and, I what? mean, you talking, man. Just when you talking about anything related to a, a, a issue that it you have. It could be sensitive, but I feel like if you're in a relationship with someone, mm -hmm. you should be able to communicate with them you openly. You should. If not, then you're in the wrong relationship. Very true, very I true. Think, I think this thing's happening too fast. I mean... I think everything you're saying is cool, but the communication is good in the beginning. People talk on the phone all night. That mm -hmm. lasts about a hot two weeks. And before you know it, y'all at the house together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just so you can tell how much communication ain't there because the aftermath is this silence now. Everybody laying in the bed. What, what to do next? <laughs> all right. You got it all. Right? <laughs> all right. Yeah. And my point, though, is that it's, it's, it's what I always tell Clarence. I mean, from my perspective, it's that, that whole bone, my bone fits my flesh. If we can get more attracted to the bone and say, man, I, I think really, I really enjoy my time with her. Mm -hmm. The communication gets easier when stuff gets tough. But right. if all we want to do is be attracted to each other, you know, post pictures, say we together, got somebody to go out with, we going to the movies, girl, yeah, he taking me out again. Right, right. But right. ain't no real communication, you know, we, we all lose, you know right. what I mean? Because I then what happens is now here's the moment where I want to know how you really feel about me. The girl said, I want to know, do you really think this look nice on me? And he's saying, <laughs> Uh, oh really? So you don't think it's like so? So you think it's ugly? He, he, I mean, he, a man can name it. He can not say nothing. He's still wrong. He's like, what's that? What's, what's that? Right, right, right. And that's my point.